Hi guys. How is everybody today? Sorry, Luis. I think these classes are already booked up. But next time, if you try to reserve uh, in advance, I think you might be able to join the class. For anybody who is having trouble joining class or uh, doesn't have enough space in the classes, I will put my, my Facebook up on the chat box so if you want to send me a message or ask me when I'm doing a class I can tell you directly so I'm gonna put my name there for you guys okay cool so I will introduce myself quickly and then we'll get into class my name is Michaela I am from Phoenix, Arizona, and spring is almost over in Arizona, so it is getting hot, and I miss the cool weather, because now it's, every day it's getting more and more hot, and the summers can be a little too hot here. Okay, Freddie asks, why Facebook? Facebook is a very easy way to communicate with me because I check Facebook a lot and because if you guys ever need to send me a message about something, it's I think it's easier there. I don't think you can send me a message on Verbling, but I'm not totally sure. Um, so that's why. I give you Facebook in case you want to message me something or you need help with something or you just want to chat. Facebook is a good place to reach me. Okay, so let me hear about you guys. I would like you guys to introduce yourselves. Tell me who you are, where you're from, and what your favorite word in English is. So what is your favorite word in English? Let's start with Buddy Luis, welcome back to class. Can you introduce yourself for the rest of the class? Sure. Hi, Mikala. Hi. Can I move ball? Ball ball? <laughs> uh, well, my name is Buddy. I'm from Colombia. And I'm studying business and finance. And my favorite word in English and every language is food. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> that's a good one. Thank you. Well, okay, bolo shall we? Would, uh, bolo would, uh, cake would be the, the, the second one. Yeah. So food is your first favorite word and cake is your second favorite word? Yeah. Okay, you're a man that likes to eat. <laughs> All right. Let's have... Shaween, am I saying your name right? Shaween, will you introduce yourself to the class and tell us who you are, where you're from, and your favorite word in English? Uh, we can't hear you. We can't hear you. Your microphone isn't working, it, it looks like. So I would... Um, check the microphone button is in the top right corner of your screen and if it is red click on it and it will unmute you if that's not the problem then it might be a different issue I'll come back to you in a second okay oh gone okay Chris Chris Fallas Fias Chris Fias yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, can you introduce yourself to the class and tell us your favorite word in English? Of course. Uh, well, my name is Chris. I am from Costa Rica and I'm a, I am ready to learn. My favorite word is uncomfortable. Now, for the meaning, it's just for the, the sound. <laughs> All right, cool. Thank you. Elvi? 
Can you introduce yourself for the class? We can't hear you, Elvie. It looks like you might have a microphone problem, too. Yeah. Now we can okay. hear you. Okay. Uh, how's it going, teacher? Good. I'm doing very well. How are you? Good. I feel great today. Awesome. Uh, yeah, I'm connecting from Venezuela. Uh, nice to meet you all. Uh, I think my favorite uh, word is uh, working out. Yeah, because I like uh, doing sport activities like spinning, jogging, running. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Okay, next we have Marcus. Will you introduce yourself and tell us your favorite word in English? I am Marcos. I am from Brazil. And my favorite word is desensitized. Is what? Desensitized. Desensitized. Wow, that's a yes. very advanced word. And why is that your favorite word? For the sound or for the meaning? I don't why understand. Is why is desensitized your favorite word? It's different. <laughs> it is an interesting word. Okay, thank you. Matias, your turn. Introduce yourself and tell us your favorite word in English. Hi, uh, my name is Matias Vázquez. I'm from Argentina. Uh, I live with my parents in the city of Buenos Aires. Mm, my favorite word, I, I love the smile. I, I have a, a bird sing in my in my ear with a, a smile. Oh, with cute! Smile. <laughs> I I think that uh, you 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 must smile always. Uh, you you always must smile. Mhm. Mm That's a it's, good way to live for sure. It's important in the life. It's important to cry. But uh, the cry, you uh, you learn the the moral, you learn mm -hmm. the lection, and you you can smile better. Awesome! I, I Thank you. Okay. Yes, I do understand. Yeah, I think that's a, a beautiful way to live. Definitely. Okay, let's have. Uh, Nihon, am I saying your name correctly? Exactly, it's okay. Nihon. Nihon. Well done. Can you introduce yourself for us? Hi, I'm Nihon from Turkey. <clears throat> My favorite word is movies. <laughs> because of the sound or because of the meaning? Because of the meaning. Okay, thank you. Sedar, am I saying your name? Yes. Right? Serdar. Yes. Ser Serdar. Yes, I am from <laughs> Turkey. Can you introduce yourself for us? I am from Turkey. I study English language and literature. Awesome. Yes. And what's your favorite word in English? Um, my favorite word is trust. You ask me why, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I like okay. it. It's, it's so nice. <laughs> All right, that's a great word. Thank you. You're welcome. Stephen King, will you introduce yourself and tell us your favorite word in English? Uh, my name is Stephen. Mm, uh, from Norway, my favorite word is read Stephen King books. <laughs> <laughs> so, is your name actually the same as the author? Yes. That's pretty cool. I I wanted to say something last class, but I thought it would sound 
dumb because I'm sure many people tell you that. What? I'm sure many people comment that your name is the same as the author. Yes. He's very popular. Yes. That uh, is a very weather, right? Mm -hmm. the, his, the story of, of, how do you say terror? No. Yeah, so a, a story, a terror story or a horror story? Yes, horror story. Yeah, he has some very interesting ones, huh? Yes. Okay. I like I like the book Carrie. Ooh yeah, that's a scary one. Oh, yeah, that's a scary one. Yes. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Talita, would you like to introduce yourself and tell us your favorite word in English? Okay. Uh my name is Talita and I'm from Brazil. And my favorite word is, I have two favorite words, uh, happiness, uh, it's because of uh, the meaning of the word, and I don't know why, but it's cool to say cucumber, 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's really, good. it's really um, funny. Yeah, do you like <laughs> the say. vegetable, do you like the taste of cucumbers? Yes, yes. I like. Okay. Yeah, me too, me too. Okay, um, I was thinking about it while you guys were talking, and I think one of my favorite words in English is trash, trash, because I like the way it sounds, not because of what it means, but I like the way it sounds, trash. And um, my least favorite word in English is rural. I'm going to write it for you guys. It's a terrible, terrible word. It has so much R in it. Rural. It's awful. <laughs> so I was thinking about those words when you guys were telling me about the English words. Okay. Does everybody see what we're working on today? Yeah. There's a link. Yes. I'm going to post it in the chat box quickly. Uh, Luis asks, what is the meaning of rural? Does anybody know that word? Countryside? Like... Yeah, usually it means like undeveloped land. So where there are farms and countryside, yeah. Where there's like no industry. Uh, yes, it's very hard to say, definitely. Rural. <laughs> yeah, there's so much R in it. Teacher. Um, yeah. It's a place too far from the downtown, maybe? Yes, very far from downtown, definitely. Yeah, okay. So I put a link to the notes that we're looking at today. Everyone go to the notes. It starts with art. And the first thing I have for you guys is a little quiz. So I hope you guys know your art. Um, the first thing, it says, look at the list of paintings. Can you complete the names of the artists who painted them? So first we have Mona Lisa. Who painted the Mona Lisa? Do you guys know? Da Vinci. You can... Leonardo. Leonardo da Vinci. Exactly. That's an easy one, right? Thank you. Okay, the next one is a little harder. The Scream. Do you guys know that yes. painting? And Edward who painted Munch. That? Edward Munch. Yeah. The Norman well painter. Well done. It's a famous thought... one. It is a famous one, yeah. Um, number three, Sunflowers. Vincent Van, Van Gogh. Yeah. yeah. Vincent Van Gogh. Number four, Guernica. Pablo yeah. Picasso. Pablo Picasso. Wow, you guys are doing much better than I thought. I thought you guys might not know these. Okay, Poppy's dinner. They are dinner. very famous. 
Yeah, they are, but sometimes it's difficult. Like, I recognize a painting, but I don't know what it's called, the name of it. So sometimes I thought that might be tricky, but you guys are very, um, very educated. So, Poppy is in a field. Does anyone know Claude who painted that? Claude Monet. It's a French yes. painting. Yes. Awesome. So, you guys don't need it, but I put the answers down below. And um, now there are some sentences, and they correspond to one of the paintings. So, I'm yeah. going to have you guys each read oh, yeah. one of the sentences, and then um, decide which painting it corresponds to. I'm going to start on the left with Body Luis. Will you read the first sentence? Okay. Um, this still leaf painting, painting of flowers in a vase is one of the artist's most recognize, recognizable works. Mm -hmm. And what do you guys think? Which painting is that? Remember the Van Gogh, buddy. Van Gogh, yes. What? Van Gogh. Yeah, Van Gogh. Sunflowers. Yeah, exactly. Okay, number two. Let me have Chris Fayas. Will you read number two? Yes, of course. Um, the enigmat enigmatic smile of his portrait has captured the imagination of the world. It has been stolen twice, and no, it is displayed in the Louvre, Paris. Louvre. It's a French word. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and which painting is that? Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa. Yeah, the Mona Lisa. Elvi, will you read number three? Yeah. Uh... Okay, uh, this landscape shows how the impressionist, the, the beauty and simplicity of nature. Which painting do you think that is? Uh, I, th I think it's poppies in a field. Yeah, probably poppies in a field. Yeah. Number four, let's have Marcus read that one. This is a abstract painting that symbolizes symbolizes the anguish and pain of modern life. Mm -hmm. And which painting is that? The scream. Yeah, the scream. Okay, last one. This one should be easy since we've already used all the others. Um. Matthias, will you read the last sentence for us? Yeah. This small crown painting has become a rem reminder of the tragedies of war, an anti-war symbol, and an embodiment of peace. The painter is famous for his cubist child, his Pablo Picasso, with the Guernica, mm -hmm. and the, the war in Spain, I think. I, I don't remember. Yeah, I think you're right. Okay, so if you notice, some of the words in these sentences are green, and those are some vocabulary words that are important and relative to art. So we're going to use those green words in the sentences below. Also, I would like to add that I forgot to make one of the words green. So there's one word that answers the sentence but is not green and I'll tell you when that one comes it's trickier than the others so number one not realistic what word in green means not realistic maybe that track what track could be abstract, but there's a word that's better for this position. Okay. Oh, actually, no, I think you're right. Abstract is the best one. Um, no, abstract works well. I think abstract could be that one. 
How about two? A picture showing an expanse of scenery. This one is the one that is not green. So this one is a black word. Does anyone see it? It's in sentence number three. Landscape? Yes, a landscape is a picture showing an expanse of scenery. Number three? Um, let's have Nihan. Will you read number three for us? Number three, painters yes. who use color to capture the feeling of a skin rather than specific details. It could be, I don't know, imp impressionist? Yes, impressionist. Thank you. Four, let's have... Serdar, will you? Sorry, yes. I, I have trouble with your name. Yes. <laughs> will you read uh, the next two for us? Okay. Oh, one color or shades of oh, one color, monochrome. Mm hmm. And number five? Um, picture of a person, portrait. Okay. Yeah. And Stephen, will you read? Will you do the next two? Steven, can you hear us? Okay. Stephen King, would you like to read the next question? Okay. I show of art that depicts objects and uh, geometry shapes mm -hmm. that are seen from many different angles mm -hmm. and the same time. And what do you think? Which word is that? Um, mon monochrome? No, not quite. Monochrome is something that's made all in one color. Monochrome was number four. Cubist. Yes, cubist. cubist. Cubist is a style of art that depicts objects as geometric shapes. Mm -hmm. Do you guys know what a cube is? Yep. What is a cube? Sure, um, uh, three. Uh, how can I say? Three D. <coughs> three dimensions. Three D. Yes. Yes. It's a three dimensional three dimension. shape. Mm hmm Exactly. So it's a geometric shape. So that one's pretty easy to remember. And number seven, um, I'll read number seven for fun. A picture of inanimate everyday objects. Still life. Still life. Still life. Yes, exactly. Okay, before we move on, do you guys have any questions about the words that we've seen? There are some words like um, number four in the first exercise, we have the word symbolize. What does that mean? What does symbolize mean? It's a hard question. I know the meaning, but explain difficult it to explain. Yeah. Yep. Is anyone brave? Does ever anyone want to try and explain what symbolize means? What? Nobody wants to try? Okay. Okay, well, we have okay, someone okay, in the chat okay, box. Okay, uh, okay. Can I, go. Can I try? Yes, uh, please. It's the imagination of the artist, uh, write not with letters, uh, he writes with symbolize. Uh, mm -hmm. He. he make images uh, mm -hmm. he he use animals are uh, and and he modify modif, modif, how do you say modificar 
modify modify or change modify and change uh, some some parts and uh, create a, a unique symbol he for example Pablo Picasso make a, a person with parts of how do you say Toro? What? Toro. Oh. Bull. Hmm? I, I, I don't hear. Toro. How do you say Toro? A bull? A bull? A bull, yeah, a bull. Uh, Pablo Picasso used a bull and a man and he combined uh, the parts and create symbolize that the 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 war the the, the war kill people and mm -hmm. the bull is the symbol life of the violent mm -hmm. and okay. blood blood yeah so a symbol is something that means something else like a bull that represents war or something like that exactly, exactly. so um, how about anguish that's also a word from number four in the first what does anguish mean does anybody know nobody sadness no. definitely sadness what else is anguish? It's a complex word. So, what other parts are anguish? Pain or mm -hmm. suffering? Pain, suffering, sadness. Physical else? or mental suffering. Mm hmm, exactly. Okay. How about. What about the Louvre? There is a very famous museum in Paris that's involved in number two the first exercise number two the Louvre Paris has anyone ever heard of that museum before yes exactly and it's what a very famous museum mm-hmm it is but I don't see you've never I've seen never it? gone to Paris yes uh, has anybody ever been to the Louvre before anyone in class been there no, but I know that uh, Argentine stole the Mona Lisa. He is the uh, he was the brain of the plan. Wow! But, but he he didn't uh, the 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 cops didn't capture it cap, cap, capture him. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Uh, yeah. And um, a friend, uh, the last year, uh, went to Europe and uh, told me that the Mona Lisa was in the room uh, with 200 meters cuadrados. <laughs> How do you say meters cuadrados? Area. Uh, squared. Squared. Square. Squared. Squared. Mm -hmm. Two hundred squares. And the 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 Mona Lisa stay in a place with twenty meters of distance. Wow. <laughs> um, and uh, there is a glass a windows. No, a glass uh, with a grosser fifteen or twenty millimeters. Mm -hmm. It's an anti <laughs> anti. How do you say balas? Balas, huh? pistola, bala. Uh, bullets, I think. Anti anti balls. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's bulletproof. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Very protected now. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Hmm? Okay.
There's a couple other vocabulary words. What about embodiment in number five of the first exercise? What does embodiment mean? Nobody knows? Well, or do you know, you just don't know how to explain it? No, I don't understand the question. The word embodiment. Does anyone know that word? When someone counts life? Um, it could be. It could be that. But in this sense, it's a little bit different. So embodiment could be uh, like Frankenstein. The moment he came to life, he had the, his soul enter his body and he was embodied, I guess. But usually that's not a very common way to use the word because not that many people are created like Frankenstein. <laughs> so what's another way we could use that word? How do we use it in this, in this sentence, in number five? What does it mean? What? So yes, it's similar to represent, but this one is a little more specific because it oh, takes it an idea. Yeah, exactly. So it takes an idea that's abstract, something that you can't touch or feel like peace. You can't touch peace. So it's an abstract idea, and embodying peace would mean um, giving peace a physical form. So they're talking about the art, and it's giving peace and anti-war a physical form. So you can touch it. So it takes mm -hmm. something abstract and makes it a solid item. Like a sign symbol, maybe? What? What? Like a sign symbol. Yeah, similar, very similar. Okay. Any other questions from vo for vocabulary? Nothing? How about inanimate? Inanimate. Um, well, we just had someone ask what embodiment Mystery? means. Hold on one second. Let's go back because in the chat box, someone said, what does embodiment mean? And we just answered that. So can someone tell the person? Can someone tell Mariella what yeah. embodiment means? Embodiment means opposite of abstract. Um, you gave an example to the Frankenstein when you create Frankenstein. Uh, why? The idea is, is abstract, the blood but of when priest. you create it and finished it, and it's give him a uh, 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 soul, it's uh, it's it becomes embodiment. Uh, but in art, maybe. Perfect. In art. Thank you, guys. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. So now let's move on to inanimate. Inanimate. What is inanimate? Mystery. Mystery? Yes. No, not no. quite. What is animate? Yeah. Having life. Sure, exactly. So animate is something that has life or is alive. What is inanimate? The no um, I think no, not that it doesn't exist. Yes, teacher. I think uh, it, it is. It's actually the the opposite. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Inanimate is when something uh, is not alive, so it's impossible to to move. Okay. Mm -hmm, exactly. Yeah. So it exists, but it is not alive. There's no yeah. life in it. There's no energy in it. Like, what's an example of something that is inanimate? Maybe a flower. A zombie. A zombie. Van Day Pick. Uh, Frank's day. <laughs> yeah. You guys are, yeah, something that's lifeless. So a book, or a table, or a computer. Those are all things that are not alive. So they are inanimate objects. 
Yeah, without something that doesn't move, basically. Or at least it doesn't move by itself. Soul. What? Without soul. Yes, without a soul. Okay. Any other questions before we go on? Uh, here in the museum. What? Nothing, nothing. Okay. <laughs> so now I have a few questions for you guys. I would like to hear about um, your favorite artist, and then I have a few other questions. First question is, who is your favorite artist? So I'm going to start on the left and go right, starting with Chris Fias. Will you tell us your favorite artist? And when I say artist, I mean like a painter, not necessarily a musician. So it doesn't have to be a painter, but someone who does physical art, not music. No music. Just for painting? Yeah, well, it could be painting, could be sculpting, could be any type of art that is physical. Um, but, I like, no, no dancers, no musicians. Oh, I haven't think about it. I okay, just... we'll come back to you then. I'll, I'll ask some other people you think, and I'll ask you again at the end, okay? Okay, Elizabeth Montoya Mazo, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Will you introduce yourself and then tell us your favorite artist? Okay. My name is Montoya, I'm from Bogota, Colombia. I'm a lawyer. I, I'm married. I I don't know what my say. <laughs> <laughs> Who is your favorite artist? Maybe Picasso. I like Picasso. Picasso. I I think by but I for that in in my country there are uh, is a uh, Fernando Otero is a um, important painter. Mm -hmm. He painted. Uh, bad people. Mm -hmm. Bad people. Do you know Fernando Botero? Fernando who? Botero. Yes. He's very famous too. Yes. I don't know. He, uh, I, I, am, I am not sure, but I think he, he has uh, some picture in Paris, but I don't know in which, uh, I don't know. I am not sure. <laughs> Yeah, okay, perfect. Thank you. All right, next up we have Elvi. Can you tell us your favorite artist? Uh, yes, teacher. Uh, my favorite uh, yeah, artist is Alejandro Otero. He is Venezuelan. He was born in Bolivar State. Of, of course, that is the that is my state uh, where I was uh, born, and as well. Uh, I, I'm not sure, but I think he was born in 1921. Yeah. Wow. Uh, yeah, he studied in Caracas City. Caracas is the capital of Venezuela. Mm -hmm. uh, between 1939 and 1939. 45, yeah. He is a painter and a sculptor as well. Uh, I like uh, his his art because, well, he uh, the way, or I don't know how to say the word, uh, is synthetic art, okay? Synthetic mm -hmm. art. Synthetic? That, okay, okay. Uh, it's related to the movement, okay? Uh, if you if you uh, see uh, his his uh, paint, painting, mm -hmm. you can uh, the paint the painting uh, look like uh, they are uh, in moving, yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. Uh, wherever the place you are stand, you can see the painters are moving. 
it looks and, like an optical illusion, right? And, okay, okay, that's it. And uh, his art is the same thing. It's about different piece of uh, metal, yeah. And mm -hmm. when when the the air or the winds uh, touch the the uh, the monument, uh, it's really nice because you can see uh, every uh, part or piece of metal uh, begin to move with the wing, and that is really nice when you uh, see his 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 scorches, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's really interesting. nice. Interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. Thank you. Jeez. Marcus, will you tell us about your favorite artist? Yes. My favorite my favorite artist is my it's my land and he called Oscar Neymar. He is a architect and he is a famous around the world. Yeah, I've heard of him before. And what kind of work does he do? What makes him different from other architects? Different. Mm-hmm. One write write the read the write the book is a uh, Robin Cook. He is a North American. Interesting. All right, thank you. Um, Matias, will you tell yeah. us about your favorite artist? Okay, could be a writer? Yeah, sure, could be a writer. Okay, and the musician. Uh, first, the musician okay. is Facundo Cabral. And what uh, kind of music does he do? He, he's uh, Argentine. He writes the. Uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm not from here. Near. Um, I from there. It's a, a beautiful song. He have a fi fi How do you say? Philosophia. Philosophy. Okay. He have a philosophy uh, of life. Uh, very pretty. Mm -hmm. He. He was a man that he liked to uh, help the people. He he traveled. He had he had traveled to Africa with Mother Teresa uh, to help the the, Af the African people and. Me, my second favorite artist is Jorge Luis Borges. We, with her amazing books, because he had a beautiful mind. He he makes labyrinth with the the lector, uh, the the writer, and you you, you must. You you have to to play with the text and you you have to analyze the the answer. We uh, because you you don't uh, understand the book. The book is implicit 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 message. Mm -hmm. The message. It's not di direct. It's implicit message. What about physical art, like a painter or a sculptor? Do you have any favorite artists I, I, like that? I don't have any any artist. Okay. I know Leonardo da Vinci and more, but mm -hmm. I don't have a favorite. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Nadine Nanid Wong. Can you hear us? Nanid? We can't hear you, so you might have to unmute yourself. There's a button in the top right of your screen, and it should be a red microphone. You might have to click that in order to unmute yourself. 
If you're having other difficulties, just let me know in the chat box and I'll try and help you, okay? okay. Oh, I think I can hear you. Can you say one more thing? You can say me. Oh, I can hear you, but you're very soft, so speak up a little bit. Speak a little louder and tell us, do you have a favorite artist, like a painter or sculptor? What? I a painter. A painter? What's the name of the painter? Um, I don't know. Don't know? <laughs> That's okay. You can write it in the chat box if you think of one, okay? Okay. Nihan, will you give us a favorite painter or sculptor or artist of some kind? Of course. Uh, first of all, I am not an expert, but uh, I want to say my favorite artist is Salvador Dali. Oh, that's a great one. Yep, but my interest is not about only his magnificent pictures. Uh, it's about uh, the friendship between the Dali and the great director Bunuel, Louis Bunuel. Yeah, he did they some very, very interesting work friends. together. And they are very close. I know Dali is uh, f uh, more famous than Bunuel, but uh, as the, uh, I, I said, I like movies. And I like directors. Luis mm -hmm. Bunel is very, very famous Spanish director. They are all uh, surrealistic artists, and I like this style, like symbolism and surrealism. His paintings, uh, you know, are very bizarre and interesting. Mm -hmm. and, Definitely. Uh, and uh, they have a short film with Bunel. I don't remember the exact name, but it's kind of uh, it's kind of a doc, a short film mm -hmm. they recorded together. But it's very very interesting film. I think you can find uh, it on YouTube. Yes, yes, you can find everywhere. Yeah, <clears throat> but but uh, if uh, if I want to, if I have to say in my own country. Um, we have very famous uh, painters, uh, but the world uh, doesn't recognize them. Maybe Osman Hamdi Bey is the um, uh, very uh, the best uh, painter in our country. Uh, let me post a link. Uh, his famous uh, picture is uh, on that link. I think that's so. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you. And thank you for the link. Did you put it in the verbling chat box? Yep, yep. I, I don't see it, but maybe my internet is slow. Maybe it will come in a minute. I'll have to, I'm very interested in looking it up. Thank you. Ah, there it is. I found it. Okay. All right. Serdar, will you give us your favorite artist? Okay. Uh, actually, I interested in music, but maybe Picasso, because okay. because he is one of the best on the world. Uh, he and do you like any paintings of his? Like which paintings do you like? Picasso. Mm hmm. Guernica. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's a very good one. Very famous. <laughs> yes, he uses geometric shape. Uh, mm -hmm. It is interesting. A very, very yeah. different, very different style. Not classical. Classic. Yeah, he's unique for sure. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Stephen King, do you have a favorite artist? Uh, yes. 
Tell us about your favorite artist. Well, I like very much Leonardo da Vinci. Okay. What works of his? What do you like about him? Because because now only was a printer. If mm -hmm. not too many different things. For example, a sculptor, um, astronomer, philosopher, um, and poet was a very fool. But I want more for our artist Edward Mans born here in Norway and creator of the world the cry. And what kind of art is that? Uh, Edward Mans creator of the world the cry. Oh cool. Very interesting. Thank you. Okay, I'm coming back to the beginning. Chris Fias, did you think of an artist that you like? Hume? Yeah, you didn't give us one. Can you think of an artist you like? Yeah, I like musicians and I like <laughs> writers that, to be honest, is culture artists or painting artists, I don't know. Not anyway. your favorite type of art? And I, I like an art of dancing, drawing. I dance a lot. And you I like want to, to draw also? Instruments. But um, referring of painting, I need to be honest with you guys. I, I don't know anything about painting <laughs> art. <laughs> That's okay. There's always um, time to learn. <laughs> Yeah. Well, thank you for all. I I guess I will give my spot to Emilia. Sure. Okay. Well, I'll see you later then. Thanks for participating. Okay, Luis Fernando, you're finally in class. Hello. Can you introduce yourself for the class and tell us what you think about art or if you have a favorite artist? I can't hear you, Luis. Um, you might be muted, so check in the top right corner. There might be a red microphone. Hello. Hello. Okay, introduce yourself. Hi, uh, Luis Fernando from, from Brazil. Where in Brazil are you from? Minas Gerais, Caratinga. Awesome. Hey, hey, that's very close. I lived in Chimato. Do you know where that is? Where? Chimato. It's very close from here. I know it's very close. That's where I lived in Brazil. We uh, have many time? One year. What? I was in Chimato for one year. Have a long time? Yeah. A long time. Also, I have a friend that lives in Carachinga and his name is Fernando, but I don't remember his last name. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it's very nice to meet someone from uh, Carachinga, from Minas. I love all parts of Brazil, but Minas is uh, where I live, so I'm very affectionate for Minas. Um, so tell us about, do you like any artists? Well, I, I like to architects. Architects? Like who? Yeah. Oscar Niemeyer. Yes, I do. 
Oscani and my of Brazilians just just this. Okay, do you have any other international artists that you like? I don't remind the, the name from them. I don't remind his okay, name. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. If you think of it, you can let us know. Miguel, okay. can I yeah. ask you something? Yes. Uh, what is your <clears throat> opinion about your favorite artist? Um, I think my favorite artist is Andy Warhol. Do you guys know Andy Warhol? Nope. Nobody? Yeah. Cre Creo Pop Can you art? type it in the chat box? Yes. Andy Warhol. Oh. Like that. He's an American artist and he's famous for something called Um, and I think his work is very interesting and it's very fun and to me it's very meaningful but not everybody likes it he's he's been a favorite of mine for a very long time but I also like um, Salvador Dali and many other artists but I think Andy Warhol is a very unique artist and um, I thought it's something we haven't talked about. We haven't talked about pop art yet. Do you guys know what pop art is? Yes, a popular art means. Yeah, d true, but it's a specific kind of art. It's not popular art. It's like pop music is uh, a certain type of music. It's the same with pop art. So pop art is usually um, very bright colors and it's usually very common household items. So a soup can or a soda bottle or a shoe. It's very common everyday items. It's kind of abstract. Marilyn Monroe is items. pop art. What? Marilyn Monroe. Kind of abstract Monroe. Uh, expression. Uh, yeah. It, it's for part with the with the colors in the in the cubes. Mhm. Mm okay. Anybody have something else to say before we uh, end class? We have about three minutes left. So if you would like to volunteer a favorite artist or maybe something your country is famous for, go ahead. Anyone want to add something? Nothing? Vamos lá, Marcos. Também, Marcos. Miguel. Miguel. Huh? Yes. Where, where do you live? Right now? Yes. Right now, I'm living in Phoenix, Arizona. And that's also my hometown. But, um, I... Most of the time, I live in Brazil. I live in Chimoto. I'll put it in the chat box. I live in Chimoto, Minas Gerais, Brazil. And yeah. I'm, I'm in Phoenix now for my documents. I have to get, I have to change my visa. So I had to come back to the U.S. So that's if why I'm here now. Yes. Marcos, you also took from Cartinga. Really? Yeah. That's it, crazy. I can't believe that you guys are so close to where I used to live. <laughs> you are that's, in my class. Yeah, that's very, very funny. Oh, um, Elizabeth? Elizabeth, you can't see the chat because you're on Google Chats and we are on Verbling Chat. Oh, maybe she's gone. So if you want to switch to Verbling chat, you'll be able to see all the other stuff we posted. All right, guys, any last comments before we finish up here? Luis, I'm very glad that you made it into class and we got to talk a little bit. And hopefully yeah. I'll see you in um, more lessons. I think I teach again on Wednesday. So if any of you guys want to catch a class with me, I'll be teaching Wednesday evening. So maybe, maybe I'll see that. you guys then. Okay.
All right, guys, thank you so much for participating in class, and I had a great time. Um, thank you anyone, for the class. Thank you. If you anybody do. wants yeah. to find me on Facebook, I always give my Facebook out. Um, so if you guys need to message me or have any questions, you can just message me on Facebook. Because verbling, I think, is, it's more difficult to send messages on verbling, I think. How old are you? I am 23. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There you go, guys. Thank you for everything, and I'll see you next class. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Thanks, Michelle.